Hey, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take. And today, my friends, we are taking a look at the Anvis CX7 Touchless Face Recognition Time Clock. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you what comes inside of the box, how you can set up your CX7, and also how easy it is to set up employees within the online system and communicate it with the CX7. So let's get straight to it. Now, as far as our CX-7, again, the main feature is face recognition. Of course, I'll explain to you how all of that works and we'll set it up. And also keep in mind that this is a cloud-based system, meaning that even though you use the CX-7 to clock in and clock out, everything is actually done on the cloud. So you're gonna connect to this either Wi-Fi or through internet. Again, easy setup, I'm gonna show you just how simple it is. And of course, you do get a free lifetime support. Now, as far as what comes inside the box, well, of course, you get your Anvis CX-7 time clock, you get a AC adapter to power it on. You get your instructions, and of course, you've got some wall mounting screws, a data cable, and also two ID cards if you wanna clock in using a user card. So let's take a closer look at our CX-7. We'll take a look in the back and on the bottom. You'll see, of course, our ethernet port, our power port, and our data cable right there. Let's go ahead, oh, and of course, on the side, you have your USB port as well, and also a reset button if for some reason you get stuck. So let's plug in our power cable. Okay, and as this boots up, make sure you read the instructions because one of the first things you wanna do is create a cross checks cloud and account. This is where it actually assigns a company ID and user password to connect or to sync to the cloud for your CX7. Make sure you do that first so when you set up your internet connection, either your Wi-Fi or ethernet, it's gonna ask for that company ID and password so you can connect these two through the cloud. Once you're set up from there, then of course it's just really simple. Now. As you can see right now, I'm already set up. You've got a light here to illuminate the person who's actually seeing. And you can see on the top how we right now we have a, and you might be able to see at the top how we've got some different icons, a Wi-Fi icon meaning that we're connected through Wi-Fi. There's also an ethernet cord. Right now we're not connected through that. That's why it's got a little red alert. And also our cloud. So right now we're connecting to the cloud because I've already did my, I've already connected this to my Wi-Fi and already did my, uh, my setup through the Crosschecks cloud account. And of course you've got a setup button that you can actually go into as well. So if for some reason you wanted to change your company ID or change the Wi-Fi password, you'd go into the setup, you'd type in your password for your company, your user ID for your company, and you'll see how you'll have different setups such as network, TNA, all right, access, test, and also you can update from there. Okay, taking a closer look, you'll see here you have your sensor here for your ID cards, and of course here is your, uh, your sensor for the actual uh, camera for the clock in. Of course, you got a bell button there to actually give you an alert or not. Now, as far as clocking in, it's really simple because I already set up my account online, but I'm just gonna look at this. It's gonna find my face, put a bracket, access granted. and then give me uh, access and I'm clocked in and that's it. So let's move straight to the software right here. And I created a fake business account. My, my, here's, here's my low nose account. I created different departments. Of course, we have our dashboard. We can see who's, how many people's uh, punched in the records, how many devices I've connected. I have just one device connected. Um, of course, exceptions, overtime, apps and early, employee device. You have all these different options to actually work, to work into it just as if it was regular payroll. And also someone missed a punch, so I better get on that. All right, and of course you can see here, I have my organization where I can manage the departments. Um, what I'll do right now, let's create a brand I can create a brand new employee or device. So we're gonna create a brand new uh, employee and a department. So let's go to, we'll add, let's create a brand new brand new department and we'll create a different employee. So department, let's just say, since this is low nose, let's call it my art audio department, right? And of course we just put our location and you, put, and you can put an address and telephone number if you want. Okay, so we'll confirm that. Our new department is now added successfully. Now let's create an employee that we're gonna to add to this apartment. So here's here's the host, that's me, uh, Mr. Glitch, he's the editor who works for Low Nose. Let's add a brand new employee. Uh, first name, we'll call it, I'll call him first name audio, last name guy. All right, his employee ID will be employee ID number four. Now also see how it says upload photo. You can upload a personal photo if you like to kind of match it, to have a face to the name, but it doesn't affect the actual CX-7 when you're signing in with facial recognition. So employee ID number four, job title, we'll call him audio guy. Hire date, he's being hired today, congratulations. Um, his department, of course, we just created the previous new department, audio. 
So do that. And if you want, you can put an email and a telephone number so they can have a contact. Um, we'll go in, all right, punch management. Uh, default, we'll leave the punch in mode. As far as clocking, we'll leave a default. And the default is actual facial recognition. Okay, and you have different other ways, fingerprint, face, password, or card. Um, I don't believe this has fingerprint, but if you did have different options, you can have different ways. Actually, we'll do face. We can do face and card. So we'll come back and we'll set up a card setting for him later on. So we'll go next. Role setting. Uh, he is now an employee. Congratulations. Uh, his password. Let's make his password uh, that. Okay, and of course we can send him an, uh, an email invite uh, or a QR code or invite link to make sure that he's all set up so we can tidy it, tidy it up, tidy it up. Okay, and once that is done, we can now set up his schedule. Uh, he'll work today, and his end date will be let's say next week. A special project for this guy. Okay, and and we'll confirm him, and there we go. His schedule is all set, and we will confirm it. Now, all you have to do is just set the, set him up for uh, his facial recognition. Uh, so we'll go back to audio guy. Okay, we'll go to edit. Let's go to punch management. Let's set up his face. And now we're going to please choose. Okay, so let's choose the CX-7 because we're using that. Let's face enroll. It's going to search for a face on a cloud and then it's going to send it to the CX-7. And here we go, it's gonna look for my face. Okay, so I'll just put my face in a circle. Face is already enrolled. Oh, okay. So what can I do here? So that's one thing. Access okay. So that's one thing. I can't you can't do the same person on two different ones. It's that smart, it'll recognize the same face. But what can we do? Well, let's go back and set up a key card. So we'll go back to the card section, we'll click on that. We'll bring out our card, then you'll see on the top it's asking for a card number. So we'll take the card number that's on our card and we'll punch it in. Okay, we'll press enter, confirm, and then it's all set. And then once that's set up, we'll just take the access card for Audio Guy, we'll tap it. Access granted. And Audio Guy is clocked in. All right, so now you can see how easy it is to set up your CX-7 for either facial recognition or access card. Uh, you can see how easy it is to use a software on the CrossChecks Cloud website. It's fully featured. There's so many things that you can drill into and just really dial in your schedule, creating employees, creating brand new departments, and just getting it the way that you need it to make sure everything is organized right there. And best of all, it's all based on the cloud. You don't have to worry about having this stored separately. Yeah, it, it's, it's all right there. Okay, really hope this video helped you out to show you how easy it is to set up and use the Anvis CX-7. Enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Anvis CX-7. Hey guys, do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.